Hello everyone, my name is Kong. I'm currently a PhD candidate at Johns Hopkins University Computer Science Department. My research interest lies in manic robotics vision and deep learning. Today I'm going to share with you uh, generalizing spatial transformers to projective geometry with applications to 2D, 3D registration. Image-based 2D, 3D registration is a method to estimate the 3D pose of an anatomy from the 2D image. It is usually phrased as an optimization over the pose parameters based on the image similarity. However, the initialization of the registration is always challenging because the image-based objective similarity shape is usually non-convex. Conventional intensity-based 2D 3D registration use numeric-based methods such as CMAES. However, the gradients are not differentiable. And the similarity functions are manually crafted, such as neutral information or normalized cross-correlation, which requires the initialization to be close to the global minimum. Recent deep learning-based 2D 3D registration methods tried to learn the mapping of the pose parameter directly from the 2D images, but there is still no gradient connection to the 3D space. Differentiable rendering is a popular technique in computer vision, which connects the 3D scenes with 2D images by the gradient-based machine learning. The applications include single view reconstruction. Previous approaches mostly focus on the mesh-based representation. However, in most of the medical applications, the anatomy data is acquired as a volumetric representation, such as CT scan, MRI, or ultrasound. In this work, we take the X-ray to CT 2D 3D registration as an example to show the value of our proposed method. In this work, we develop a projective spatial transformer called PROST, which enables differentiable gradient propagation from 2D image to the 3D volume, and especially the pose parameters. We take the 2D 3D registration as an example application and show that the objective similarity function can be reshaped to convex by learning the 2D and the 3D representations. Our projective spatial transformers follow the projection geometry defined by the C-arm intrinsic parameters. We define a 3D sampling grid along the recasting line, which can be transformed by the pose parameters, so that we will have a transformed sampling grid in 3D space. And this transformed sampling grid can be used to sample the 3D volume and we will see that the 2D projection is just a collapse from the interpolated sampling points. Our proposed PROST is implemented in PyTorch with C++ and CUDA backend, which is easy to use and install. And the projection operator is end-to-end -end differentiable with no learnable parameters. What is more important is that we can then take the advantage of the PyTorch built-in optimizers such as SGD or Adam to perform the optimization over the objective function. Here we show an example 2D 3D pelvis registration using the gradient NCC similarity. We can show that the registration converges and also the 3D transformed grid is displayed in this 3D space. However, the problem of the narrow initialization range still exists because the similarity is still the traditional gradient-based, gradient NCC-based gradient loss function. Then if we initialize the registration with a larger offset, you can see that the, the registration is easy to get stuck at a bad local minimum. In order to solve this problem, we we take the advantage of the end-to-end -end differentiable property of our post. 
So we propose to reshape the similarity function to be complex by learning the 2D and 3D image representations. And here is our proposed architecture. The goal is that we try to learn an objective similarity, which is on the right, the LN, to be a convex function. And we intentionally design this similarity to be the mean square error of the, of the two encodings, one from the moving image and the other one from the fixed image. During the training phase, we try to optimize, we try to learn from the training loss, which is the difference of the gradient with respect to the post parameter, one from the network, the other one from the target convex function. Please note that this training loss is not at the end of the network, which is this objective similarity, but it is at the beginning of this network. And the parameters of the network will be updated by the double backward function. During the application phase, all the parameters are fixed, and then we take advantage of the differentiable property to optimize over the post-parameter theta to perform the registration. We show the same registration, but we start with the network similarity. You can see that it tries to pull the volume in three space to be close to the global optimum. And if it gets closer, we switch to the traditional gradient NCC loss to do a local adjustment until it fully converges. In order to further demonstrate our method, we perform the both the simulation and the real X-ray study. We train our pipeline using 17 full-body CT scans from the NIH Cancer Imaging Archive data, and we test it on simulated X-rays from the lead one out and scene CT scan. We initialized with a large rotation and translation offset, and the X-ray simulations are generated by our pros. We also tested on the, and on the real X-ray images acquired from a cadaver specimen. The ground truth pose of this cadaver is uh, acquired by injecting metallic babies and, per, and perform a landmark-based registration. From the quantitative and the qualitative results, we can see that uh, our proposed uh, combination loss is giving a much larger in its, uh, initialization range compared to the traditional CMAES method. In the future, we will focus on multi-object 2D 3D registration and applying our pros on other applications such as 3D reconstruction. And we, we want to further improve the, the generalization on real data. Thank you for your attention, and please pay attention to our GitHub repo to check our project uh, repository. Thank you.